Hey BBs, it's me Plastic and today I'm back with y'all for another video. Today we're back and we have the one and only Twirly Generation 3 doll. I am super, 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 super pumped to have gotten her. Um, I mean, she's not like limited, so it's not like a, you know, rah. But like, I've been hunting for this doll forever. She's a Walmart exclusive, which means it's going to be an issue to find this doll. Walmart exclusives are hardly ever stocked like they should be. And if they are stocked, they're stocked like, I have like a good couple months after the, after like their release date. Um, so I was, I've been hunting for this doll ever since October 1st, when she first officially came out. I mean, I was on the low hunting for her at other Walmarts, because I know a YouTuber found her. I don't know which YouTuber it was, but someone found her early at Walmart, and I was, like, hunting for her for, like, the longest time. But she never popped up in my actual Walmart. I actually ordered this doll from a independent store, toy store. I forgot, Walmart it was. I'll put the name on the screen if you want to look for her. She has since been popping up on t Walmart's website more often, and hopefully in stores. Um, so just search up Generation 3 Torlai and she'll pop up somewhere. Um, but yeah, I'm just super excited about getting this doll because now it means I have my core Monster High Generation 3 dolls all completed. The first wave, I'm assuming. I don't have Gorgonizer Draculaura yet. Um, so I think that's the only one that I'm missing so far. I just ordered the Coffee Mean set, so creep your eyes out for that review. I'm really pumped to get them. But, um, for right now, let's look at Torlai. We again do have this kind of, um, blister packaging with the big plastic kind of overlay and the cardboard back. Um, the art, it's like not like the best box to be honest. I think it's a little bit cheap still, but I'm getting used to it more and more. We do have Torlai and her like name logo kind of on the box on the bottom left. We have Sweet Fangs on the bottom right. And then over here we have her accessories, the doll and the Monster High logo in this kind of holographic -y finish. On the um, left hand side, we have all of her little icons to kind of, you know, get to know her better. We have this little jacket, a fist, or some claws, her bag, you know, some other more ones. I think this is her, was this her OG heart or her, her OG symbol? I don't know. I don't think so, but really, really cute nonetheless. On the back of the box, we get the other BBs from the series um, of the Wave 1. We have the Monster High kind of school. We have a better look at Torlai's art, her and Sweet Fang. And this art makes me so sad because we get, like, this really cool, like, kind of, like, you know, this jacket looks so much cooler than the actual doll, like, released was. I kind of wish this doll also had, like, more layers like this. Um, I feel like I wish, like, her leg, if her, like, hair had more, like, you know, like, a little bang thing, I think that would be really cool. She just looks so much prettier in this art. Like, I wish we got these studs as well and the little rips in the jacket. Um, she just looks so much more fun to be, and she looks like more, like, pretty and mean, I don't know. Here we get to know a little bit more about Torlai, and that she, her monster type is a ferocious werecat. Monster must-haves are her scratch mark choker, and perfectly chilled milk box, and her monster pet is Sweet Fangs, which is so cute. Um, Sweet Fangs, though, is her generation one pet, so it's really nice to see him back. Um, we also do have her barcode, so check up your Walmarts. Again, this all is a Walmart exclusive, she will only ever be found at Walmart, um, at least for right now, unless she gets a re-release, which I don't think they will do. So, check your Walmarts, check your Walmart apps, check, um, Brickseed, I think they can probably help you with this, but, um, again, the only way to buy this doll is secondhand or directly from Walmart, they do not sell this at Target, Amazon, so don't even try looking for them in stores, because I know a lot of people have been. So again, Walmart exclusive, let's get out of the box, I'm so excited! And we are out of the box. Torlai is slaying the boots. Um, we have lots of accessories, so I'm gonna go over those first. So first we get this like microphone stand, which is really interesting. Um, I don't understand the lore behind this quite yet, just because the show hasn't come out for me yet. Um, but I am excited to know what it is gonna be like. The microphone is removable and has a little point for her to put her finger in. I love the little like horns on it. It's so cute. Um, and also, I guess it is a cat. It's, it's the ears and the tail. Like, look at how sweet that is. So beyond cute. And then we also have the microphone stand, which it has a little hand grabbing it, which is cool. You can take it off at this point, and you can take it off the stand just for, I guess, if you are traveling or you're moving, I guess, and you want to keep this safe. That's my only thought, I guess, you know? Because, like, if you're moving from, like, a, you know, with your tour line, maybe you can just, like, boop, you know, and it lays flat. Um, but the, the base is really cool. It's like a little spider web. Twilight also comes with this little bag, which is going to be her signature bag, I assume. It says his fits on it. It has some little scratch marks. It has some cute little studs on here, which are really nice. And it has this cute little, like, this keychain is die to die for. It's like a mouse on a feather. I love the keychains. I think they're so much fun. Um, it is a one strap kind of bag and has spikes on the one strap. It's supposed to be, like, around her, like, like that, I guess. And, like, around her chest i don't know but there is a spot for you to put things in it if you really want to i don't want to put things in it because it is like a plastic bag but um it is like a little bit stretchy so if you have to kind of maneuver ways to get into it you can Torlai also came with this little milk carton it has a cat on the front it is so beyond cute it has like some like, little things about it, a little barcode 
the nutrition facts. It is hollow at the bottom and does have a spot for her to put her finger in it so she can hold it. So beyond sweet and cute. Her other food accessory is this little can of tuna, I assume, um, which is really, really cute. Um, and like the little nutrition facts. Again, the finger to hold it. Um, hollow in the bottom, and then there's a little tab on it, so it's cute, really sweet. Um, we also come with her little eye coffin, which is so cute. Like, this little case is to die for. It's a little, like, cat, like, holding onto it. Like, look at it, grip it. We also have some Torlight icon, like, icon app things to kind of show her personality. The back is unpainted, but it's so sweet and innocent. And again, this whole, um, little hole to put her in her hand. Um, we also come with this little, um, second outfit kind of thing. It's like a His Fits shirt. It is so cute. It looks like a black t-shirt that she kind of put, like, bleach on it. And it's her band tee. Um, ooh, it also comes with this little hanger, which is cardboard. Um, the amount of dust that just came from that, though. Um, I'll try this on in just a minute, but it looks pretty nice. Um, her final accessory um, is her pet, Sweet Fangs. Sweet Fangs is so beyond cute. Like, this little orange cat, I assume it's a cat. It kind of looks like a tiger. It has teal accents along with this little red collar, which is removable. Um, and you can put it on your dolls if you really want to, which is really nice. I think Sweet Fangs kind of stayed the same compared to Generation 1. Oh my god. Sweet Fangs Generation 1 is so cute, but, like... I don't know. I think they're so sweet, and they're still the same orange shade, to be honest. I mean, mine does have a little bit of paint mess up, but nothing too crazy. Um, honestly, I kind of miss the OG detail, like the little paw prints. But again, just kind of a different style. Um, Generation 1 um, Sweet Fangs is still there, so if you do miss Sweet Fangs, you can probably find them somewhere. But really, really cute. I like the you know, throwback. So now we get into Torlai herself. This doll has caused some little bit of con controversy with her hair. Um, and her hair is long. It goes down to around her kneecap. Um, and it is really nice. It is this kind of red and like little highlight of pink in it. It's so it's good. It's in a side part. Um, there's no style to it. And it has a little bit of curls. Um, can I speak my opinions on this hair? I need to say it because I am so sick of the Bob community spreading their agenda. Um, I like to rely with long hair. Um, I think every time I've seen someone cut a bob onto her lie and made it down to her, like, her chin or above her chin, it makes her face look super long because this doll has a very long face. Um, I don't like the bob. I think every single time I've seen a bob, no offense, it always looks so hit. It just does not fit her face shape. Um, and I just love the long hair. I like long hair in general on dolls because I like having more to play with again if you want a bob cut it yourself i don't care i am a part of long hair twirly gang and i hope it stays this way i hope the designers continue to implement longer hair and twirly design or they change the face mold because it just looks bad like i don't know it just like doesn't look like it's like my taste but um maybe we'll get a bob like a budget doll one day if you guys are really begging for it but um i don't know but we also have okay moving back onto her face mold i guess we have her ears um her ears are really cool again they're the twirly or the the signature kind of cat ears on the top of the head these do they'll have tufts of fur um within the ear which are really cool she does still have that little like cut out on her ear on the bottom um but she has a little um ear piercings these two silver studs hoop uh, mini hoops and this one little mini red hoop they're all the same mold they're really nice i like the little detail detail that they add i kind of wish there was a spike in there and i wish we had four piercings instead of the weird three that they all have been coming with um but whatever um Torlai's face is a little bit interesting i'm not gonna say that it's like my favorite thing in the world but it's also not the worst thing in the world there's no pixelation on this doll um she does have a little bit of like stripes on her forehead so are a little bit of side eye we have these big bushy eyebrows and this makeup um the eyeshadow is really interesting as it has like a pink in the inner corner a little orange on the lower lash and then a little green yellow kind of thing on the um crease um, very interesting. I kind of like it. It's kind of cute. Again, I wish there's a little bit of like a shimmer in it there or like a little bit of a darker color. The yellow was turned into like a gray or a black or something just so she had more dimension in her eye. I feel like all of these dolls are so colorful and I wish there's a little bit more black in her as she is, I guess. I still think she's the villain, correct? Um, I just wish she had a little bit more of a dramatic eye or something. Um, then she also has these cute little pink or these like magenta ellipse. They're not completely red, to be honest, but they're not like pink. Um, they are doing a little smirk again her nose and she also has the birthmark on her cheek sadly Torlai did kind of lose her like um sh like her like shadow i guess or her what was it like it was like a little shape around here under her eye um i kind of miss that i wish like the dimension in her face i feel like she looks very flat and undimensional or which is a little bit disappointing but i don't really mind it that much again this is a new reboot her outfit though is very interesting as well as we kind of have um, oh she also did not come with a stand i don't know if i said that or not this was in a stand from aliexpress so um yeah that she does not come with a stand sorry 
Um, but her outfit is very interesting. So we kind of get this cute little black choker. It has a little like claw mark on it or scratch mark. It's cute. It's simple. And I like it. This jacket on Torlai, which is a red pleather kind of thing. And it has a little bit of, um, purple scratch mark accents on it. It's fine. It looks a little bit like thin. I wish they made it a little bit thicker, but it's okay. It has a cute little collar on it. If you can kind of see through my nail, there is a little bit of indents in it. Um, there is a little zipper kind of aspect to it, and it is stitched and hemmed, which is nice from Mattel. Once the jacket, though, is off, we can take a better look at her undershirt, which is this cute little, like, white tank top moment. Um, it has a little bit of kind of orange around the collar, and on the front of it, the print is this cute little cat. It's a kind of smiling at us. Um, it does look like it's, like, screen printed on, um, which isn't anything crazy, but really nice. We also get Torlai's little belt here, which is a silver kind of belt. It has a couple, like, paw prints on it, or claw prints, um, some little yarn, and then it is a, um, kind of silvery chain. It is asymmetrical as well. Here's a better look of it off of her body. Really, really fierce. Under that belt, though, we have this skirt, which I'm gonna say it right now, it's so long. I don't know why we got rid of mini skirts in this reboot. I feel like the skirt is just a little bit too long. I feel like we could have gotten away with making this a little bit shorter or like this a little bit shorter. I don't know. Um, it just doesn't feel like it fits her that well. And it just like makes her body look very awkward and long. Um, which isn't a bad thing. It just doesn't like fit her character in my opinion as she is like the bad girl. But um, you know what? No shade. It's cute. It is a black and it has a kind of um, pink and more yellowy scratch marks accents on it. Really, really fun. Um, it does have a little spot for her tail to come out, peek out. And this tail, though, is non-removable this time around. I kind of like that, that um, you can't take the tail out, so it makes it not hard to, like, lose it, because I've lost so many, like, so many wear cat, um, tails and stuff over the years, so that's really nice that it won't be going anywhere. We also have Toralize little, um, marks on her forearm and um, calf, which is cool. Then we move on to these shoes, which are combat Doc Martin kind of moments. I love the little ball of yarn on the back. These are so fun to play with. I am obsessed with them. And like unboxing her, I was like having so much fun. Um, but this, the Martins are have these little like purple socks, which are very interesting. They're, they're molded on. Kind of wish we just didn't have any socks at all, and I wish they were just the boot. I don't know. I, like, this detail is just kind of random. I'd rather that paint have gone into painting these little stripes on the mold, but these are a white um, mold. They are cool. They have some black lacing and some spa um, red marks on the, like, I guess, foot of it. And the sole has a little paw print on it, which is cute. I wish this was a little bit more platformed. Um, yeah. All right, I wanted to show you this shirt um, because it is a little bit weird how it fits. I feel like it's a little bit baggy in ways that I didn't think... Like, when I predicted this, I thought it was gonna be, like, a very tighter skirt uh, or shirt. Um, but I don't honestly hate it. I think it's really cute for, like, a, you know, like, around the house or, like, a casual kind of outfit. Um, I do like it a lot, honestly, now that it's, like, a, you know, I guess it's a reference to her band. Uh, I think his is the band. Uh, don't quote me on that. I could be very wrong. But I love it. Like, it's so cute and simple, and it honestly kind of works, well... It clashes a little bit, so not that well, but if you definitely have, like, a doll, maybe a Laguna doll, maybe a her girlfriend, potentially, maybe that can, she can wear that, but I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, but I'm gonna get her back dressed up so we can compare her to OG Torlai, because I am horrified for that comparison. We are back, and both Torlais are here, ready to join us. Um, again, you can kind of see the differences in the dolls, to be honest, I do prefer Generation 1, um, obviously, Gen I prefer Generation 1, but I just think Generation 1 has a lot more elements to her which make her look a little bit more like a mean girl um and she just looks a little bit more fierce to be honest like this new one is still cute and i still like her but i just think i wish she had more elements of black in her design rather than pink i wish she kind of ditched that purple thing that she has going on i wish the skirt was a little bit shorter um i just think there's a couple things that i would change personally but again i think this doll is very nicely designed compared to what we could have gotten i feel like um this is, like, the best possible solution, to be honest, with Modern Mattel. Um, love y'all, but, um, just a little bit, um, interesting. I don't hate her as, I know a lot of people, like, have a death wish out against this Torlai, but I think she's cute. Again, I do wish she had some glove accents, maybe a little bit more darker themes. I wish her, she wasn't smirking. I feel like we lost a lot of the meanness of Generation 1 with the Generation 3 dolls, which I guess are, you know, a different target audience, but I don't know. Just some food for thought. I'm excited to add her next to her girlfriend. Hey! Generation 3. I love Torguna. Um, that's one of my favorite ships. Um, my, one of my headcanons. Um, so it's weird to add it into our view. But, like, look at how cute they look together. Like, aren't they, like, totally dating? Like, do you get the vibe? 
because I get the vibe. And I do really like this Torlai. I think she's just a more, you know, just a whole different look for her, um, which is fine. Again, people change and things change. Changes every day, so I'm not really, like, too much in my bag about Torlai having longer hair or a different color palette. Um, like, again, we will survive, babes, but I don't know. I'm really excited about Generation 3, and I'm excited to see where Torlai's character goes. I'm excited to see what the whole singing thing is about, because we never really got much of her, like, I mean, her singing in, like, Boo York was awful, so I'm interested if she's gonna have, like, a good band, a bad band, what that team may be. But yeah, let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments below. What you think about Torlai? Do you like her? Do you like do you want her or do you not like her? And let me know why. Um, again, I'm dying to know. But good luck. Happy hunting for this doll. I know she's been kind of an issue because Walmart never stocks their exclusives like ever. It's so painfully annoying. But yeah, let me know again your comments and thoughts and opinions in below. Good luck finding her, everyone. Happy hunting. Um, love you all so very much. And I cannot wait to creep y'all in the next one. Okay, love you. Bye. Mwah.